She did what she, we told her. The notes actually worked. Look at that. That is a huge roly poly, huh, dude? Yeah. There is a raccoon asleep on our chair. So we're gonna take a shot of apple cider oh, vinegar. No. Really? Oh. Apple. Oh. <laughs> Hey dude, let's go see what we got from the Tooth Fairy. Okay. Do we Is even it know what if the Tooth Fairy came? Maybe she didn't. <gasps> oh, did she? <laughs> did my she? rocket tail in my rocket hat. She got you your rocket tail in your rocket hat. Your Barbie. <gasps> my Barbie. She got us. Wait. What, she, wait. Did she let us keep the teeth? Is the teeth in there? They are. They are. Look at that. They're Dude. both right in there. These. Dude. The. She did what she, we told her. The notes actually worked. I got Dude, it. if you wanted to, maybe you could wear your hat to school and then you could take it off. Actually, you probably shouldn't because you don't have a backpack, but you can wear it afterwards. Whoa, did the tooth fairy come? Mm-hmm. She came. What? Whoa, you look so cool, Rocket. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Her. These might seem a little extreme for Tooth Fairy gifts, but these two, Sven and Az, went above and beyond their comfort zone and they did something that they were scared to do and they faced their fears and they were able to pull out their own tooth. For Savannah, it is super, super scary for her to pull out her tooth. She's scared of being hurt. She's scared, it gets anxiety, a whole bunch of things. And so they were brave. They pulled out their tooth for video and they overcame their fears. You know. That's why the Tooth Fairy was a little more. You know that. Generous, I guess. A little more generous with You know her that. Um, I actually never go for free fears when it comes to pulling out my tooth. That's so good. We need to not go for fears on all aspects of life, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, but we need to hurry and eat, so we gotta go. Az's birthday isn't for another week, but since they will be done with school, he is gonna celebrate his birthday at school today. We got him a treat that he can give everyone in class, and so he can say goodbye, all my friends. Happy birthday to me. Here's a treat. <laughs> okay, let's go. Shoes on, buddy. Hurry. I love you. Love you. Don't need a jacket. I Bye. I love you. I have to share this with you, but I have to be really quiet, so bear with me here. We still haven't got all of our bedrooms back together because we still have some touch-ups and some other things to do, and we don't know if, um, if we're going to put the same beds in here. We might need to get different beds. Uh, we got different mattresses, so that's kind of what we're doing. So we had the mattresses on the floor, mattresses on the floor, and my room is no different. Mattress on the floor. I love it when Gigo comes in in the morning and wants to snuggle with us. Um, he did this. He did that this morning, and uh, the good thing was is we were already awake, and um, so he just came in to snuggle. Um, but he stays in there. He's, he's like staying in there and staying asleep. And it's like 9.30 or something like that. Maybe even almost 10 o'clock. Anyway, I just love when he comes in there to snuggles. I don't love it when he comes in in the middle of the night. I like it, but I don't love it. But when he comes in the morning, I love it. And I love it when he stays asleep because that means he's going to be extra happy today. You guys know how much we need that. And we love that. That's why I'm being quiet so he'll stay that way. Since we've been doing painting and stuff, um, we start noticing that all of these little covers that go over the... Uh, electrical and a few light switches are just not some of them are broken and missing and so I went to the store and got some of these and I've got to put them on and we've got new cupboards in the bathroom like new new uh, cabinets we've got some new handles for them too and so I'm gonna put those on today um, but the kids get off at noon Sarah just texted me and said hey the kids get out of school at noon today which is pretty cool uh, it's a couple hours earlier than usual and so I'm gonna go pick them up So, did you guys did you guys do any testing or anything today? Nope. Yeah. I just watched movies and played games. For yeah, real? That's the same for me. 
That doesn't sound like school at all. What, what does that have to do with education? Well, school was all math, and that's all it was in watching movie. <laughs> we watched Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Oh, it doesn't sound like education at all to me. Because we have extra days of school, and we can't do anything. We oh, watched, I like, see. Oh. Told ya. Box. What's in here? We have crayons. That's a cool little box. And wait, what is this? It's gone. Oh, did you get a birthday card? I just get. It's just paper. Cool. Jason. Oh, look at this. That is cool, dude. He made it even fit as perfectly. Let's see. She made it Run. fit as perfectly. You gotta go show Gigo. It is pretty much one of the last, It was. it's one of the last three days of school. So it was a half day because this is the last year at the school because they're gonna rebuild the school. And so only get half days. And so all we did, we're done with math, we're all done with that stuff. All we did was we watched Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. That was so fun. And then we watched music, like we, play, we played music videos. We watched, we did this walking one mile in your house thingy. So I told my teacher about our YouTube channel, and she was so surprised. She's like, "How do you go to Disneyland so much? You does your what's your dad's job?" And we're like, "He does YouTube." And he's like, "What about your mom?" And we're, he's, she's like, "And we're like YouTube." And so she was so amazed. And we did YouTube, and so we watched a video there, and we played some card games and stuff. It was super fun. And I hang I hung out with all my friends, and I ate yummy yummy lunch. Dude, what'd you find? Kenny just walked inside and said he found something. What'd I you saw find? one of the big humongous. Roly poly, roly poly. Roly poly. Look at that. That is a huge roly poly, huh, dude? Yeah. Yeah. Where'd you find it? Were you digging in the dirt? No. It was right on the sidewalk. Whoa, dude. Right on the sidewalk. It did come um, up, um, down. So you switch it around and, and the hole goes onto the ground and then he's into a trap so you can't get him out. And if he needs to be out of that trap, then this get him out because the trap is his bed. This how you. <laughs> Very detailed way to set up a trap for this little, or for this giant potato bug. Granted, I found another animal. It's a snail! Got another animal? Yeah, that's a snail. Whoa, dude, you're just finding all the animals, huh? Yeah. First a roly poly, and now a snail. But this one, you can't put on the, look, this one's all slimy. See, it's slimy. Oh yeah. So we can't put that one inside, okay? So this one has to stay outside, okay? But I found it. I know, you can play with it outside though. Oh. I am going to get my braces, the wires changed, and I have not, they have never stopped hurting. My teeth have never stopped hurting. They don't hurt as bad as they did in the beginning, but they still hurt, and it's like different teeth every day. And so, I'm going to get them, the wires changed, and then I'll have three more weeks of not eating because I have sore teeth. <laughs> and I'm gonna change the colors up because I didn't love this clear, how it looks yellow now, by the end of the month, how it's yellow. I don't love that. See, the pink doesn't look bad. All right, I'm done. Here's the reveal. <laughs> pink on top, purple on the bottom. Um, it's funny, the dentist kept saying, the dentist and his assistant kept saying, Oh, I love when adults will put color on. There's not a lot of adults that will put color on their braces. And if you're gonna have braces, you need to embrace it and have fun with it. There's no point in trying to hide that you have braces because people are gonna know that you have braces. So just have fun with it. Just have fun with who you are. So embrace it and have fun with it. And be happy with who you are because you're so important. I've been laying down ever since I got back from school, which was like two o'clock. And I've been trying to like take a little nap because I got very little amount of sleep last night, but everything keeps interrupting. So I haven't been able to take a nap and my throat hurts. I'm just tired. I just got done cooking dinner and Gigo, guess what I realized? 
There is a raccoon asleep on our chair. A raccoon! There is a raccoon to sleep right here, Canyon. See, look at the tail. It's a bushy raccoon tail, Canyon. Canyon, there's a raccoon to sleep here. Raccoon! Hey, there's a fluffy raccoon. Oh, it's Asbury. As is dressed like Rocket the Raccoon. He didn't get enough sleep last night, Higo. I wonder why, because you didn't let him? Did you let Az get enough sleep last night? No. No, you didn't because you didn't let me get enough sleep last night. I'm going to fly to your house. Let's go into the basement. I know you are hiding. Rip off your arms and shove them up your butt. I think it's time for Canyon to learn a different movie quote. That is true. I know, it's pretty hilarious, but after your child starts saying it word for word, it's really not that funny. So we better stop teaching you those things. Canyon was in our bed at 5 o'clock this morning. He woke me up at 5 a.m. and I could not fall asleep after that. So I've been up since 5 a.m. and it's only 5.30 p.m. funny because like we'll sometimes bring Jackson Storm food out and it'll be like watermelon or artichoke stuff and then Charlie will be like I want that I want that but then it's something that he probably wouldn't actually want <laughs> he's like don't stop petting me oh nice to meet you other pa okay what's going on here I can't talk we both have dead throats so we're gonna take a shot of apple cider <laughs> vinegar no <laughs> It's supposed to really help. Oh, it's supposed to oh, help. I can't even it's like, oh, Kelly, so Kelly, bad. Kelly, do this. Ready, plug? Can we have like a... <laughs> can we have okay. a garbage can? No, because then we'll no. spit it out. We Ew. need to drink it all. What if I throw it? It's good for you. Just, I like it. it. Branson likes this stuff. Water. All right. Ready? I was scared. Wait, okay. someone have water someone on the ready. Yeah, yeah. Someone oh, have water. I know it's supposed to... Oh, no, no, no. What are we doing? Go! Uh, uh, <laughs> 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 Allie's, that's not too bad. Good job, Allie. Her we went down the way. wrong tube. <laughs> Good job, girls. My I'm throat burns. Ew. Ew. Dealing with Ooh. your health. Issues. I can already feel my throat getting better, oh. though. Oh. Hey, this is birthday number two for Sarah, birthday number point five for Danielle. Well, Let's see if I get Supergirl and inhale the flame. No. Nope. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Joyeux anniversaire, joyeux anniversaire, joyeux anniversaire, maman Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. Joyeux anniversaire. I love you, and as always, you are my.